Hi everybody, Dennis at TurfGrassScience.com and today we're going to talk about stopping disease spread through aeration and the simple tools you need to clean and sterilize your aerator before you take it to your house if you rent one at Home Depot, which I don't recommend, but if you do, you need to sterilize it first. So what we've got here today is a, an old bolt, a hammer, and a spray bottle with a 50-50 solution of bleach and water. And a jet nozzle on a garden hose. Here's our uh, Billy Goat aerator. This is a commercial grade hydro drive instead of the drum units like you see at Home Depot and Lowe's. This will drive down in the ground three inches almost with regardless of the soil condition and regardless of how much water weight you put in it and it just does so much better job separate from ease of use and these are the tines obviously and uh, these only have as you can see eight tines where a drum unit's got 20 to 28 depending on the model but the cleaning is going to be the same. Uh, so let me get the stand set up and I'll quickly show you how to do this. So as you can see, and this is something we do every time before we go to a job, no matter what. Knock the cores out. So just knock the cores out with an old bolt and a hammer. As you can see, this pulls really good cores where the drum units usually don't pull an inch cores depending on how wet or dry it is and how big the thatch is because the geometry and the, <laughs> the engineering of them just doesn't lend to them driving straight down in the ground like they need to. I, I call drum units basically shallow core aeration and this is deep tine core aeration. So now we'll get the power washer out. Just, just make sure you got good pressure in your uh, garden hose. This one definitely does. And again, if you if you aerate. If you clean right after aeration, opposed to being set for a day, and depending on your soil, if you got sandy soil or sandy loam soil, it doesn't really matter. But if you got clay soils like we have around here, and most of the Dallas Fort Metro clay, they get sticky. And then if it's set, you know, for a long time, they get dry. But and then lastly, again, before we go to any customer's house because can't can't state this enough most people's problems are not related to soil they think or grass or lack of fertilization or water most people's problems are related to disease especially in the metroplex and especially with st augustine grass and the primary reason that the disease spreads so far around the metroplex is some it's improper watering practices at people's houses, but mainly it's your lawn crew. It's your lawn guy. He is the culprit. It's the aerator you rent from Home Depot. No different than if you were taking a needle at your doctor's office and he was sticking the same needle in you than he's sticking in somebody else. This spreads soil-borne diseases like tar, sad, 
which are both uncurable and tar is just manageable. Then it also spreads brown patch, scale, even some insects, chinch bug, eggs, and uh, it could very simply be taken care of, but people are too impatient. Um, and certainly lawn crews are, that are blowing and going for $20 and $25, um, they're, they're not going to do what they need to do. So you spray it with a 50-50 bleach solution. And that kills any spores that are being harbored, especially from tar and sad, but other turf grass fungal diseases. Again, if you have a drum aerator, this takes a lot longer because you got four three to four times more times, but it's a simple process and there's no reason not to do it. We do it for all of our customers to protect everything. So. Hope this was helpful. Aeration is a very helpful part of uh, turf grass management practices, but if you get lazy with it, or the people you hire are lazy, and 99% of them do not do what I just showed here, then um, you're going to have uh, potentially issues and yards full of disease like we are encountering all spring long. Thank you. Weeds and disease.